Hello everyone. Last time I basically put to bed my Rockdale project as uh, finished, well for now anyway. I wanted to uh, start a new game which is uh, allowing uh, better planning and, and, and that sort of thing. Now, I'm going to enable a couple of mods other than the autosave mod, which uh, I already had in there, um, which is quite useful. Um, the first one is the all areas purchasable. Uh, that's so that uh, when the city gets uh, big enough, um, then I can uh, basically go past nine tiles. My system seemed to handle nine tiles fairly well. Um, obviously, it doesn't jump all the way up there. You have to make it to that last milestone, um, the Megalopolis, to get, the, the, get it unlocked with this mod. At least, if I remember the uh, the structure correctly, um, I'm going to try out the extended public transport UI, as I find the uh, UI for the uh, transport stuff a little bit limited. Uh, I'm going to try that out and uh, see how it uh, how it works. I'm also going to enable this traffic light toggle mod. Um, there's some places where the game sets up traffic lights that don't seem to make sense. Um, well, actually, no, I'm not gonna going to use that one. I'll keep the auto save one on. Um, I'm not going to use these other ones here. Um, I subscribe to them just, um, you know, to play around. I haven't, uh, haven't seen the need to, uh, actually use them, uh, other than the initial experimenting I did with them. Um, okay, so... That's those mods. Now, as with any mods, it does disable Steam achievements. I don't particularly care about the Steam achievements, so, you know, uh, that uh, does, uh, th doesn't seem to be a, a limitation. Um, okay, so that's those mods enabled. Now, I'm going to start a new game. So, apparently it wants to call this city Springfield by default. So I'm going to look through these maps here and see if I can decide on which one I want to play with. Uh, this one is, uh, oh, very little area that you can build in. Uh, that one's relatively little as well. Uh, the Lagoon Shore is also a fairly low buildable area, but as you may, may have seen in the uh, Rockdale project, uh, you know, I didn't come close to half of the area filled in, So, uh, and, and that got me to a population of 100,000 with a particularly poorly planned city. Uh, that's a coastline. Uh, with nearly 70% buildable. Uh, sandy Beach, yeah, something of a coastline as well. Two Rivers is, uh, well, it's a map with two rivers in it. And that's the one I was playing for the Rockdale one, if I recall correctly. Uh, Yeah. 
Uh, I don't think I want to mess around with islands. That's a uh, pain in the butt, you know, with lots of bridges and so on. Uh, though it would uh, it would mean some interesting uh, planning for uh, transportation. Uh, Black Woods uh, seems to have good co connectivity, fairly balanced resources. Um, River Run, uh, that's uh, well, it's uh, along the river, I guess. Um, it's fairly balanced resources as well. It has a large buildable area. Uh, Green Plains. Well, it's not bad either for area. Uh, Black Woods was... Well, let's see. You know what? I'm going to go with River Run, but I'm not going to call this Springfield. Um, but I do need a name for it. Uh, well, yeah, I can change this later, of course. Um, well, let me think. Huh. Well, this is always the problem coming up with a name. It's kind of good. It suggests names, uh, apparently at random. Well, well, let's see. I could do something really creative and call it Cityville or something, but that would confuse people, so I, I don't think I'll do that. Um, well, well, let's see. You know, I'm going to call it Neverwhere. Um, don't ask me why, it just popped in my head. It's probably a reference to some obscure thing I read somewhere. Um, okay, so I'm going to go with River Run, and I'm going to go with Neverwhere. Okay, so I'll start the game. course it takes a little while to actually start the game okay oh man I'm gonna pause this right from the start now let's see gameplay no misc tutorial messages are off okay good okay I'll resume the game now so this here um, interestingly enough this particular map has two highway connections into the initial plot and that's kind of cool actually uh, so I guess ultimately I'll probably end up linking the highways um, which side of the river do I want to start on well let's look at the overall region area here um, you know I don't think it really matters all that much. Um, okay. 
Okay. I think I'm going to start away from this clover leaf here. So that means I'm going to work on the larger side here. Okay, so. Um, now, here's the thing. You have to build a single piece of road to unlock any kind of roads. Now what? I have a small roundabout from the start. I guess the big roundabout isn't going to get unlocked until I get highways right. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, do some actual planning um, when I uh, when I build these areas so that uh, when it comes time to expand roads and uh, deal with heavier traffic I can but also so that when it comes time to deploy uh, rail lines and uh, other things like that I have somewhere to put them and also for subways so that I have somewhere to put the subway stations so okay um, you know, it's good. I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with the small roundabout, which I'm going to stick here. Now this has a two-way road in on this side, but what I'm going to do and this will ultimately get replaced with a highway or a large roundabout and probably a more significant uh, intersection. But anyway, I'm going to connect up with the outside world here and connect that in the right direction. Okay, now that was just for unlocking things. I don't actually need the stuff to come off here at the right angles it started with, but uh, you know I'll keep those stubs. They they do seem somewhat useful. Um, I'll go back to now. I'm going to need some sort of a uh, road here, and we'll we'll call that the uh, a main road. Now I'm not going to build anything along here, uh, and that's because this is ultimately going to be a highway throughway. I've put a roundabout here so that I have free-flowing traffic coming off the highway, uh, and that should reduce the traffic bottleneck there. Now. Uh, this is this here is going to be a fairly small residential area uh, right in this area here so um, now I'm gonna leave a gap uh, from the highway area here um, it's probably not going to be a large enough gap because well you know planning is not exactly the easiest thing in the world but uh, in any event, uh, I'm going to leave a bit of a gap here. I'll say that's a good enough spot to start. And uh, from there, I'm going to, uh, you know what, I'm going to go a little bit grid-like here. Uh-huh, okay. Well, if I snap to the grid, I'll be able to get a straight road going here. Okay, so I have a straight road there. Now, I'm going to bring a road across here. Uh, 
actually no, I'm going to go further. See, I think the, the error I made in my uh, previous game is I actually made my blocks too small um, so that along the main roads so that when uh, the traffic built up, the crossroads were so close that it just couldn't handle it. Now, the thing is, once I get out of the main roads, I don't need to be quite so careful. So I can actually have more frequent intersections without causing any particular undue grief or pain. Whoops. Okay. I'm going to call that my initial area. This here is going to be Main Street. So eventually this is probably going to be a six lane two way road. And that's the uh, big reason I've made it, made the block so long there. Now I'm going to start out with residential over away from the main road like so and I'm going to put commercial right on the main road actually what I should do here is move that have this stuff go one tile further out to accommodate when I do widen the road ah like that as the four lane and six lane roads are two tiles wider so when I upgrade, these zones will shift over. Of course, it will demolish the buildings when I do, but even so. Now, so I'll do the same thing over here. One tile further. Like so. Uh, yep, that lines up. Okay. So, now I'll put the zones zoning back here. Okay. And here. Okay. That'll do initially. Now, there is a critical thing I need at this point, and that is power. Ah, there's the big generation, 8 megawatts. Okay, so I'll put a couple of these in. Um, oops, I'm going to need power lines as well. Okay. That will get me power over there. I'm also going to need a water source. Now, as always, I need to put the water input upstream and the water drain downstream. Okay. 
Now, I need to link this stuff up somehow with the rest of it. Uh, like so. Okay. Now, as I discussed in the early parts of the Rockdale project, I generally am just following the roads with the water pipes just as a guide. It's um, It just seems to... Uh, well, it pleases my OCD, let's just say. Okay, now I need to... There we go. Now that's the water system linked up. Now we need power for both of these. Okay, so that gives me power, water. Okay, so I'll take it off of pause and the simulation can start. Now that fog is annoying. Anyway. Now it takes a while before you have tax revenue coming in. Um, it is critical to make sure you connect uh, an outside connector to the road or you won't get any people come into your town at all. And that would be a bummer because, well, they got to pay for the infrastructure somehow. Okay, so residential demand is starting to level off. Uh, industrial demand is growing. Now, of course, nobody has anywhere to work, really, um, except the uh, um, commercial area. What I'll do is I'm going to go over on this side and again, I'll build the main road out. Now over here, I'm going to set up an industrial area. And I'm going to do the same thing here. That I did on the other side. I'm going to have a long block and I'm going to have a short block. Now I need to bring power into there. So I'll bring power into there. Okay and I need to bring water in which I'll bring straight across from the other and I will need water here okay now I'll zone this I'll use the fill tool Okay, so that's some industrial land, and uh, I'll give it a speed up here. Uh, that will give the sims here somewhere to work. Now, so far, I haven't built anything that really boxes me in for um, transportation, infrastructure, and so on. But, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to D 
zone uh, where I would put ultimately where I'll end up putting uh, metro stations. Now you'll note that I went one tile away from the main road there and that is because I need to avoid blocking it in if when I upgrade the road if I built the metro station before then. Now the idea here is I want to keep the metro stations in a reasonably straight lines. Um, if you have to go all over squiggly all over the map it gets to be a little bit um, dicey. Now let's take a look milestones almost at there we go now we're a little hamlet and now we can deal with garbage education and health care. Um, trash being the major thing to deal with first. Um, now, so I'm going to stick a landfill. Well, yeah, I'm going to stick it right there. And again, I left that one tile gap so that I don't have to relocate it when it comes time to widen the road. You cannot relocate a landfill if it's partially full, if it's got anything in it at all. Now I've got a positive cash flow, which is good. So, um, and right now I'm sitting on residential demand. Now, as long as I leave my uh, education level low, uh, the people will work any kind of, uh, well, crap jobs, for lack of better terms, uh, including low-level lev low industrial. Now, it's clear that I'm going to need more residential. So I'll set up another area here. Again with the long gap. And I'll do the same over here. Okay, and I'll bring the water across. And I will uh, do some zoning. Whoop, no, no, no. I need to actually select a zone type. So, residential and residential. Now, what's the situation here? Looking for uneducated workers, so 
it's just a low population issue and what do I have here eh not enough power okay ooh I'm a worthy village now which gets me some other services um whoops no that's not what I wanted I want to slow that down now I'll go over here and fix my power issue uh, seven megawatts seven Oh, I guess seven will do. Okay, I'll stick a bunch of them there. And that should, okay, uh, the not enough workers thing over there is sorted out. Now, uh, what I'm going to set up is uh, bringing in some more money so that I can actually do something. Okay. So, realistically, this is um, this is a fairly uh, sedate um, uh, setup here. Um, you know, just getting things started. Um, okay, I have demand again for commercial. So I'll put. Again, I'll bring the commercial along here on the main road, like so. Now, as you can see, uh, you end up filling up the space fairly quickly once you start building things. And I've got fires. Uh, can I build a fire station? Now, I'm going to put the fire station over here. Um, and I'm sure all of my uh, characters over here will also appreciate the fire station. Oh, I need more money. I can't build it unless I have 12,000. Okay, so I'll have to wait a bit there. Okay, so I'll go over here and I'll, cl I'll clean up these burned out buildings. Um, and that will potentially allow things to um, get moving again. Now, really, I would like this to be a higher capacity roundabout, um, but I don't have the uh, higher capacity roundabout yet. Um, I could use a six lane one way road and build a circle myself, but yeah, that's not going to work so well either. As it's, you know, unpleasant building a A, um, uh, a circle you know it's uh, not the most fun thing in the world um, okay I'm doing this because I'm gonna end up demolishing um, apparently I have a crime problem um, so I think I should plant a police station somewhere um, and I'm Note that I'm putting it uh, one tile away from the road again. 
Uh, I'm doing that again for road expansion. Now, I do have a four lane road, so I could expand it already actually. But anyway, I'll let the police station deal with the crime wave. Uh, and I'll go back to building a road across here. Actually, I'll do that for now. Uh, I won't zone in there, but it gives another connector across. And I'm doing this for the same reason, to provide another connection across. Okay. Oh, I made it to Tiny Town, uh, which means I can build a high school now. But I still need actual um, money to do that. Um, I'm going to build a fire station, though. And again, one tile gap. Um, and I need a, whoops, police station over here too. Well, I'll put it here. Okay. Now, I'll speed up the simulation again. Now, the whole point of this here was... Ah, uh, money. There we go. The whole point of this was so that I could um, add some more residential here. Uh, now, I can also, of course, just zone along here too which I'm going to do and I'm going to do the same along here okay so that gives me some additional um, stuff there um, okay so so far so good the whole point of this row is it gives another way across to get to the where the work is so I expect ultimately once this turns into a highway this will actually just be um, probably a surface street under the highway Now, where, did, okay, I put the, I forgot to leave the gap for the metro station, which is going to go there. Eventually, as the city develops, this area is going to get a higher density uh, zoning uh, when it becomes available and the population level is there. As you can see, there's some real traffic developing here. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, bring this across here. And again, I'm going to zone this. Okay. Now, 
I'm going to bring the power in this way and remove this one and that's so I can fill this in. Okay. Now I've got demand for more commercial. Um, I'm actually going to put commercial here. I'm not going to bring this road across, so there's no, no reason not to. And the same thing here. I'm not going to bring this road here across, so there's no reason not to zone this. Now, I'm ultimately going to set this up probably with bus route around in a relatively small area so that the buses tend to stay less loaded before they get to a jump off point with a uh, larger mode of transport. Where's the next milestone? 2600 and that gets me another area which I don't need yet okay so this would be a fairly busy uh, intersection if it wasn't a roundabout as there would have been traffic lights coming at each entry point um, now over here I need to be a little bit careful of what I do uh, but I'm going to bring this across to here and I'm going to bring a road across like so Now, I'm not going to bring this one all the way down, because again, remember, this is going to be a main road. Uh, but I'll make sure that I have water here. And I'm going to add Um, now I'll uh, empty out that gap as a spot for a metro station. Whether this continues to exist as, a, as an industrial area in the future that's hard to say. I think I'll plan for a more arterial road going through here with somewhat limited access. Uh, so I'm having heavy demand for more residential. I'll do one more like, like this. And then I'll do another set of long blocks for uh, a main road. Dope. So, you're wondering why I demolished that. You can't build a road one tile over. Uh, the game just doesn't work that way. Okay. 
Okay. Again, this is my OCD uh, for pipe layout. Um, yeah. I like nice orderly pipes. Okay. Now, I'll... Uh, get some more residential in here and I'm going to start with education so there I got a elementary school I'm gonna put a high school That should start bringing the education level up. Yep, people are starting to get educated. Okay. Oh, I've made it to the milestone. I'm now a boom town. And now I can build bus lines. Okay. This is excellent. I like bus lines. Now, I need to build a bus barn, so I'll do that. Oops, I need to build some power first. Ooh, I have the advanced wind turbine. I can put those in the water. It may be twice as expensive, but I can keep them out of the land area. Okay, that should sort the power issue out. But I'll build one more just so that I don't have to. Whoops. Again with the... Okay, now back to building the bus barn. I need 30,000. Okay, so I'm not building the bus barn just yet. I'll speed things up, let things get moving for a bit here. Now it's industrial and commercial that I have a demand for. Well, I'm going to extend my main road now I'm going to put another main road in here with the same sort of gap that I was using previously this will be my intersecting main road. And then over here, two, four, six, seven, another
gap. Okay. Okay. Nope. 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 There we go. That's where that one goes. And that. And I'm going to go for a symmetrical affair over this way to what I have over there. Now, there's no particular need to do that. I just um, felt like it was the thing to do. Um, okay, so now I'll do the uh, water linkage thing over here. Um, and also on this one is what I'm going to do is run commercial along the main road. So, uh, first, I'll uh, zone this, okay, and this. Now, I can do this commercial area, and also like so. Uh, this will be residential. Okay, now I need to also carve out a gap here. No. Don't. The gap for the um, metro line is actually be over here. So when I acquire that tile. Um, oh yes, I need to deal with dead people. So that should sort that out. I clearly need some additional industrial, so let's arrange for some. Ah, no. Industrial. Right, okay. For some reason, people like having somewhere to work. Who knew? Okay, so, so far so good. I have here a uh, developing town with um, a very, very grid-like structure. That's... Um, That's intentional at this point. Uh, there's no particular reason not to use a grid when you've got a nice big open area like this. It's when you start running into obstructions where um, doing something else makes some sense.
Okay. Anyway. See, I'm starting to have a traffic thing going on here. So I'm probably going to need to start looking into um, upgrading some things here. Now, out of curiosity, uh, can I upgrade? Oh, I have the big roundabout now. Okay. But out of curiosity, can I upgrade this? Oh, I can. I can go for a bigger. It'd be pointless to make a six lane roundabout, but. I can. Okay, so I'm sitting around 3,400 people. Um, I've got a town that like, I'm net positive on cash flow, and the town seems to be working fairly well. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to call this the end of part one, and part two, I I probably come in and I will replace this with a proper um, roundabout highway grade and then from there I'll will I'll see where that where it goes whether I end up turning it into an overpass and uh, elevating a highway through here or something else anyway I'm going to save the game and I'm going to call that Neverware Project. Um, okay, so that's the Neverware Project, part one. Uh, so I'll see everybody back for part two of the Neverware Project and you know do if you haven't check out my previous uh, series uh, called the Rockdale um, project uh, which was my previous um, playthrough of City Skylines and you might even check out a previous set of videos I did uh, which is a SimCity 4 um, playthrough uh, using the network add-on mod and a few other bits and bobs. Anyway, um, if you've made it this far, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time in part two.